Tyler Perry is an American actor, director, author, producer, and screenwriter. He's best known for his Medea franchise, which has grossed more than $660 million. He's a creator and performer of the Medea character, a tough elderly woman. Tyler Perry films vary in style from orthodox filmmaking techniques to film productions of live stage plays. Many of his stage play films have been subsequently adapted as feature films. In 2011, Forbes listed him as the highest paid man in entertainment, earning $130 million U.S. million between May 2010 and May 2011. In 2020, he was included in Time's list of the 100 most influential people. That same year, he was awarded the Governor's Award from the Primetime Emmy Awards, and the following year, he received the Gene Hirschholt Humanitarian Award from the Academy Awards. In 2022, he was inducted into the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame. Tyler Perry has an estimated net worth of one billion U.S. dollars. About Tyler Perry's early life, Tyler Perry was born Emmett Perry Jr. on September 13, 1969, in New Orleans, Louisiana. He's the son of Willie Maxine Perry, who was born in 1945 and died in 2009, and Emmett Perry Sr., a carpenter. Tyler Perry has three siblings, Embry Perry, Yolanda Wilkins, and Melva Porter. He once said his father's answer to everything was to beat it out of you. As a child, he once went so far as to attempt suicide in an effort to escape his father's beatings. In contrast to his father, his mother took him to church each week, where he sensed a certain refuge and contentment. At age 16, he had his first name legally changed from Emmett to Tyler in an effort to distance himself from his father. Many years later, after seeing the film Precious, Tyler Perry was moved to reveal for the first time that he had been molested by a friend's mother at the age of 10. He was also molested by three men prior to this and later learned his own father had molested his friend. A DNA test taken by Tyler Perry indicated that Emmett Perry Smith was not his biological father. While Perry didn't complete high school, he earned a GED. In his early 20s, while watching an episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show, he heard someone describe the sometimes therapeutic effect the act of writing can have, enabling the author to work out his or her own problems. This comment inspired him to apply himself to a career in writing. He soon started writing a series of letters to himself, which became the basis for the musical I Know I've Been Changed. Tyler Perry is 6 feet 5 inches tall or 1.96 meters tall. About Tyler Perry's personal life On November 30, 2014, Tyler Perry's partner, Galila Bakil, gave birth to their son, Amon Tyler Perry. In December 2020, he announced that he was a single bachelor. Tyler Perry is a Christian. Many of the themes in his work reflect theology and social behavior indicative of the predominantly black church culture, such as the many scenes in both his stage and screen work that feature church settings and worship styles, commonly found in predominantly African-American churches, including showcases of gospel music and artists. On July 20, 2009, Tyler Perry sponsored 65 children from a Philadelphia day camp to visit Walt Disney World after reading that a suburban swim club, the Valley Swim Club in Huntington Valley, Pennsylvania, had shunned them. He wrote on his website, I want them to know that for every act of evil that a few people will throw at you, there are millions more who will do something kind for them. Tyler Perry has become good friends with Janet Jackson, Will Smith, and Oprah Winfrey. About Tyler Perry's career Tyler Perry wrote and produced many stage plays during the 1990s and early 2000s. He's also developed several television series, most notably Tyler Perry's House of Pain, which ran for eight seasons on TBS from 2006 to 2012. In 2012, he struck an exclusive multi-year partnership with Oprah Winfrey and her Oprah Winfrey network known as OWN or OWN. The partnership was largely for the sake of bringing scripted television to OWN based on Perry's previous success in this area. He's created multiple scripted series for the network, the Haves and the Have-Nots crime drama being its most successful. The Haves and the Have-Nots gave OWN some of its highest ratings during its eight-year series run. The program hailed as one of OWN's biggest success stories with its weekly dose of soapy fun filled with the typical betrayals, affairs, and manipulations. 
After seven years creating content for Oprah Winfrey's own, he struck a similar deal with Viacom in 2019, getting 25% of streaming service BET+. Tyler Perry has also acted in films not directed, written, or produced by himself, including as Admiral Barnett in Star Trek in 2009, the titular character in Alex Cross in 2012, Tanner Bolt in Gone Girl in 2014, Baxter Stockman in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows in 2016, Colin Powell in Vice in 2018, Arthur in Those Who Wish Me Dead in 2021, and Jack Bremer in Don't Look Up in 2021. Tyler Perry has also done voice acting for animated films such as The Star in 2017 and Paw Patrol the Movie in 2021. In 2019, he opened Tyler Perry Studios, a 330-acre property in Atlanta, with 12 sound stages and custom sets that include a to-scale White House. Tyler Perry's first book, Don't Make a Black Woman Take Off Her Earrings, Medea's Uninhibited Commentaries on Love and Life, appeared on April 11, 2006. The book sold 30,000 copies. The hardcover reached number one on the New York Times bestseller list and remained on the list for 12 weeks. It was voted Book of the Year Best Humor Book at the 2006 Quill Awards. His second book, Higher is Waiting, was published on November 14, 2017. It debuted at number five on the New York Times bestsellers list. About Tyler Perry's real estate. In 2007, Tyler Perry bought a 17-acre estate in the Paces neighborhood of Buckhead, Atlanta. In May 2016, he sold the house for $17.5 million, also closing the biggest deal ever for a private home in the Georgia capital. In 2013, his company, ETPC LLC, purchased around 1,100 acres in the new Manchester, Georgia area of Douglas County, Georgia. In August 2010, it was reported that he had purchased Dean Gardens, a 58-acre estate in the Atlanta suburb of Johns Creek. He tore down the existing 32,000-square-foot mansion and planned, but never built, a new environmentally friendly home on the property. Tyler is also the owner of a 14,000-square-foot residence on 20 acres on the island of White Bay Cay in the Bahamas. He reportedly paid $6.5 million for the property in 2009. In 2018, Tyler Perry parted ways with a 10-bedroom home in Los Angeles's Mulholland Estates that he had bought just nine months earlier for $14.5 million. He sold the residence for $15.5 million to rapper and songwriter Pharrell Williams. He still owns another home in Los Angeles located within the uber-exclusive gated community called the Beverly Ridge Estates. Tyler Perry custom-built what became a 25,000-square-foot mansion on a 22.5-acre property. Based on similar nearby sales, this house is worth north of $20 million. About Tyler Perry's private jet Tyler Perry owns a Gulfstream 3 private jet that reportedly cost $126 million to acquire and customize. The jet features a screening room with 42-inch LCD flat screen and satellite hookup. He has used the jet on a number of occasions to philanthropic missions, delivering supplies to countries recently hit by tragedies. About Tyler Perry's car collection Tyler Perry owns or has owned a Bentley GT Sports Coupe, a Rolls-Royce Ghost, a Range Rover L322, a Cadillac Escalade, and a Rolls-Royce Wraith. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to give us a like and let us know your favorite Medea quote. We would love to hear them. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep looking up.